hello beautiful people welcome to classic confections i'm your host kendra and today i'm going to show you a few pieces that i've gotten in recently so i know i've been going on and on about how in 2021 i'm trying to reduce the amount of money i spend at h&m and zara but they just won't let me be great <laughs> h&m specifically will not let your girl be great um yeah so i definitely dipped back into the well i have some great pieces well one like outstanding piece i want to share with you guys and a few other bits and baubles that i've gotten in from other places so without further ado let's get into the good things starting with today's outfit i feel so cute i feel like belle from beauty and the beast so <laughs> let me show you my outfit all right gang so for today's ensemble i'm wearing my gorgeous nap dress from hill house i feel so cute and girly in this dress so again it's this pale blue but if you come in closely you can see that it has sort of like a checkered print and it has these sparkly threads running throughout which give it a little bit of extra oomph ah, it's so cute so i love it i wish it had pockets though again you know for 125 dollars, i feel like it should have pockets <laughs> And for shoes, since I'm in the house, you know, didn't want to front. Um, I'm wearing just these like Chinatown slippers. <laughs> I've been wearing these since college. So I think I got these on Amazon for like 10 bucks. But for earrings, I'm wearing these gorgeous earrings that I got from Lulu's. I had an exactly identical pair from H&M that I broke one. Um, so these I got from Lulu's. I'll link some similar ones if they're available online, but love these earrings so much yes your girl is finally able to wear makeup again after that whole like uh allergic reaction situation <laughs> so i'm very excited about that so i'm just wearing a little urban decay palette eyeshadow palette and then on my lips it's a combination of um two lip glosses that i got from dior and a little bit of chanel lip gloss on top and just some light blush i think this is what am I wearing? oh this is the cloud paint from glossier and a little bit of fenty beauty the trio sticks and cinnamon so that is today's makeup look and for mm. fragrance anytime i'm in the house just like lounging around and whatnot or filming videos <laughs> still gotta smell nice um i like to wear zara's uh, gourmand attic that's like my new like springtime scent so yes that is today's ensemble okay peeps so first off from h&m you guys, I live for a good H&M designer collaboration. So hopefully some of you guys got some pieces from the Simone Rocha collection. <sighs> guys, it was good. The collection was the bomb. Um, she was a bit pricey though. I was like, you know what? These dresses, I'm like $300 two hundred dollars for a dress from h&m you know i was definitely on the fence but there was one dress in particular and if you follow me on instagram you know exactly what piece i'm talking about there was one that just like caught my eye and after setting my alarm clock i got it <laughs> and here she is it is this beautiful red gingham dress that i absolutely love so currently all of the pieces are sold out on h&m's website but if you search google for the images and find the piece that you want because h&m once they sell out of a piece they take it off their website um, publicly available but if you search google you can find a sold out piece you find the url for it go to that page um, from google and then what you want to do is sign up for notifications other option is that you can check sites like Poshmark, eBay for, you know, probably a marked up price. Um, but yeah, in terms of that, the quality, this dress was $129. It was one of the least expensive dresses they had. But the quality is great. So you guys know I've been shopping at like Saks, Bergdorf's recently, some of those like higher end contemporary brands. And I would put this up against like my two three four hundred dollar dresses easily um so it is a hundred percent cotton it has like a very substantial like linen feel the dress is lined it has this silky kind of like satiny polyester lining underneath 
but I want to show you something the seams on the inside so all of the seams um, are lined on the inside which is something that you'll notice it doesn't have like raw edges on the inside of some like some of my cheaper dresses do they don't take that extra step so this is like I'm not a sewist <laughs> so I don't know what this is actually called but whatever this is called um, it has that and also too another thing that I like if you look at the side seams like where the fabric pieces kind of meet each other they are all like nicely lined up so they line they took care to actually try to line that up I cannot stand when I have like stripes or plaids and the seams don't match up oh I think that just totally will cheapen the look sometimes if that happens I'll just go ahead and deal with it but in this case like you can see even on the zipper in the back like the seams are fairly straight everything lines up with the different fabric pieces as they were put together and I just think this is such a great quality dress oh I also want to come in here and show you the cutest detail these little pearls on the front and these are all sewn in. They're not like glued on, so they're not going anywhere. And I'm just very impressed with the quality of this dress. I'm so happy with this. I'm going to try everything on that I show you guys at the end of the video, but I love this piece. All right, peeps. So these next few pieces from H&M, I'm not going to go into too much detail about just because I'm going to try everything on later. So next up is this gorgeous white tunic dress. I was just running some errands and I popped into an H&M and I saw this and I was like, oh, that's very pretty. This would be great to wear as like a little cover up or just as the weather gets warmer and I just want to like toss something on. And then I saw it was only $19.99 and I was like, oh my gosh, I got to have that. So this is from H&M's Conscious Collection. I would say H&M's Conscious Collection and their Premium Collection, I find, have the best pieces. I just really love how crisp and simple this is. It is very sheer, so I would have to make sure that I either wore a slip underneath if I was wearing it around the city. Um, but most likely, I'll wear this as like a vacation piece, so like over a bathing suit would be phenomenal. You guys know that I love my house dresses, so... <laughs> I'm always adding to that collection but yeah this is such a beautiful simple but classic piece and you know for 20 bucks you can't beat it. Last but not least from H&M I got this gorgeous leopard top. I saw this online but they never had my size but I went in store and they had it and it's only $14.99 so 15 bucks you know can't shake a stick at that. <laughs> But it has this like peplum detail at the bottom and these gigantic 80s sleeves. So you guys know I live for a puffy sleeve, what I call zoom top. So this is definitely a zoom top. And if you're more conservative in your dress, like these, these sleeves are a lot. Like they're doing a lot. <laughs> they're like probably the puffiest sleeve that I own at the moment um so yeah this is a very dramatic top in that respect but I love it it's made out of this sort of taffeta material so it is a little bit noisy but I think it's so cute it's such a statement making top and so really you can't go wrong with this okay peeps so next up I finally got my last piece in from my bin shopping at the Saks Fifth Avenue sale <laughs> The sale was so good, but in any case, if you watch my recent video on brands to shop other than H&M and Zara, you'll know that I mentioned Faithful the brand as one that I want to try out. So I finally got my first piece in, and it's another leopard goodie. <laughs> so this one, again, has those puffy sleeves that I'm really in love with and that smocked detail on the front. And this one has more of a sweetheart neckline as opposed to the square neckline that I'm wearing right now. And I love it. It's really cute. So this one was marked down to like $43. So I couldn't pass it up. And originally this was $175. So do I think that this dress was worth almost $200 bucks originally? Um, heck no. <laughs> Do not pay $200 for a dress like this. I would say this is maybe worth $50, $75 at most. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice dress. Like, it doesn't feel cheap to me, but it also doesn't feel, you know, 
$200. <laughs> all right, gang. So those are all the clothing pieces I got. Next, I want to show you a ridiculous impulse buy that I made. But as much as it's an impulse buy, it makes me so happy. You're going to scream when you see these. So <laughs> your girl got her a pair of LA gear. <laughs> these bring me so much joy. I cannot tell you how happy they make me so if you are a product of the 80s and 90s like me um yeah you know all about la gear <laughs> these young folks they don't know anything about la gear but <laughs> i guess sketchers purchased the brand and they re-released a bunch of their shoes but back in the day i had the hot pink pair it was like white and hot pink with like black accents and i think they had pink sparkly laces if you ever had a pair of those, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, so I couldn't find the sparkly laces, but I found these and these are like my Barbie sneakers. I love them so much. <laughs> so the reason why I got these is because, you know, it's officially spring now. And when I'm going out, like with Christian, especially like going to the playground or just running errands, I don't want to wear boots. I'm like over big, chunky boots right now. I'm just sick of wearing boots. But at the same time, it's not quite warm enough yet for sandals. And I don't know. I feel like ever since this whole panini happened, like heels are out of the question. So <laughs> I was like, I just want something that's fun easy to put on and super comfortable and these fit the bill why not <laughs> so yes those are my 80s baby sneakers i'm in love with them um if you are nostalgic for that era like i am i recommend you get a pair <laughs> and that's all i have to say on that all right so next up i want to show you guys some accessory pieces uh so i went to or i ordered from j crew and they have a great they, j crew always has great sales but they were having a really good sale. i think it was like an additional 50 to 60 percent off sale items so your girl got a couple of pieces in starting with this gorgeous tweed headband i live for a good headband and i think this one is so cute especially if you have those hair days where like i don't want to say bad hair day but you know one of those lazy hair days so when i want to just slick my hair back into a low bun i will pop on a little headband like this and this one i love because it is it's pretty wide so you can kind of see how it how it goes and then it's this color is so fun i have a plain pink one but i love this like tweed texture and all the different colors i feel like it'll make it go with a lot more pieces in my wardrobe so excited about that so next up you guys know how much i love pearls i just think they are so pretty and classy and feminine and so i love the pearl details on that dress from h&m and so of course i had to get pearl earrings so these earrings were on sale plus an additional 50 percent off and they are beautiful so these pearl earrings i got from j crew and they are absolutely stunning I love them. I love the size of them. So like I have a lot of statement earrings. I mean, hello. <laughs> but I wanted something that wasn't like just a stud or just a plain hoop. Um, but not like a big, huge like statement earring like I normally wear. And I feel like these are perfect they have just the right amount of bling they're like the perfect size to like add some oomph to your outfit but they're still understated which sometimes you need everything doesn't have to be a statement you know uh, <laughs> so yes love these and then another pair of earrings that are kind of in the similar vein also pearls i think that these are so cute again they're a great size i will try these on for you let's see but yes, these are the earrings and aren't they stunning? I think that these are so fun and cute. So again, it's like a statement earring, but it's not so huge and bulky and bold. So again, days when I just want to be sort of simple, but still, you know, kind of do it up, which is like my MO. <laughs> I think that these are perfect. So yes, I'm enamored with these earrings. I love them. Okay, so that wraps up my pieces from H&M. Next, I want to show you another piece that I got from Etsy. And it's another 
pearl piece. <laughs> I told you guys I love pearls. And it is this gorgeous Vivian Westwood inspired inspired um pearl necklace so it was advertised on etsy as like an actual vivian westwood necklace but i mean it came with vivian westwood packaging but i don't think that is authentic <laughs> i mean if i'm wrong you know great um however i love it so much i think i might get a necklace extender but right now it's just a pure choker necklace like a true choker necklace and just again i just feel like a disney princess when i wear it but i got this because i love pearls and also i wanted a layering piece so a lot of times i like to wear like my chunkier gold chains um like wear two or three of them together and so i thought that layering some pearls in with it would be very cute and so i loved how dainty this was but I loved the, also to this little gold accent so in terms of getting the actual Vivian Westwood um, her site was sold out of the authentic version <laughs> so I want to keep an eye out set up some alerts and I think I do want to get like an actual Vivian Westwood but for now I will make do with my inspired Vivian Westwood necklace from Etsy all right peeps so now i'm just going to try on everything that i showed you guys in my haul all of the um dresses and that top at least and without further ado let's get on to the try on portion of this video hey peeps so first up from h&m we have this gorgeous simone rocha number again the details on this dress are impeccable i love it so much and i told you guys before my style especially um during this time of year tends to skew a bit preppy but i love how it's like preppy with a twist this is like definitely fitting the bill here so this little side ruffle or frill <laughs> I think really takes this dress up a notch. Um, I will say I got the extra large in this dress and it is a bit baggy in the waist. And you know, your girl is doing a cleanse right now. So <laughs> if I need to, I might have it taken in. Normally I would belt it, but I feel like because of this little um, side ruffle right, right here, I don't know if belting this is going to be an option for me. But regardless, I love this dress so much. I feel so cute and pretty in it. So let me show you how I styled it up. So I am wearing those beautiful pearl earrings from J. Crew and then this pearl necklace. I have a similar one from J. Crew. This one is from the now defunct Sea uh, Wonder. And I think that it goes so nicely with this little pearl detail on the dress. And of course, I could not resist carrying this pearl handbag. This is the one that I got from Amazon. As always, I will link everything down below and then for shoes your girl is in the market for a new pair of red shoes because these are seeing better days um <laughs> but these are just a pair of red suede um strappy pumps that i got from zara years and years ago so there we have it i feel like a pair of red like low heel mary chains would be perfect with this look so i'm on the hunt for that <laughs> but just one more look see so for this next dress uh, imagine that it was fully ironed and i steamed out all the wrinkles <laughs> sorry peeps but in any case i love this dress so much it's this gorgeous caftan from h m and it just gives me resort vibes like i just feel like i'm on vacation when i have this on so it has a decent sized uh slit on the side uh on both sides actually so you can show a little bit of leg <laughs> like i said it's like the perfect v-neck so like visually it looks very deep but it's not showing too much if you don't want to show everything you know there's time and place for that <laughs> and then if i come in more closely you can see that it is quite sheer so like i said if i was gonna wear this out in the city definitely have to wear like a slip or at least some uh, shorts underneath but i love the little cap sleeve and how it's cuffed like that i just think that's very like flattering so i put on all of my cult guy accessories <laughs> So I'm wearing these Cult Gaia Tria hoop earrings that I got from, I think from Saks Fifth Avenue, that Saks sale that I keep raving about. <laughs> 
and then also to my cult gaia arc tote so this i purchased from nordstrom rack and i love this bag so much and then i'm wearing my cult gaia shoes so these are the ones that have that clear lucite hill so i swear i'm going on vacation <laughs> I feel like I need to with this outfit right here. But yes, I love this so much. I think you could also belt this as well. So if I were going to wear this around the city, I probably would do that. I probably like belt it. I have like the perfect like beaded belt to go with this. And um, again, like I said, put on some kind of foundation underneath. And this is so good. It's so comfy. I think I will be lounging around the house in this until that vacation pops up. Um, <laughs> I'll just be having a staycation. But yeah, love this one. So next up is that dress from Faithful the brand, the one that I got at a deep discount and I'm happy about it. <laughs> so again, I think this is just a very short and sweet dress. You can just toss this on with a pair of sandals, a gold hoop earring and say no more. <laughs> so pretty much all of my summer shoes are in storage um but luckily i did keep out my christian louboutin wedges and i think that these go perfectly and in addition to that i'm carrying my stowed moreau handbag so it has this gorgeous beaded net detail with a leather interior love this bag so much and then these gold hoop earrings i got from madewell love these so yes that is the ensemble like i said definitely did not pay 200 dollars for this um it doesn't have pockets <laughs> but the smocking i can tell is very good quality like it's very close together and it's stretchy there is a zipper on the side which a lot of times these type of dresses are just kind of slip on styles but it does have the zipper and i love the puff sleeve i feel like it's like the right amount of puff it's not too dramatic but you know still gives you a little bit of zhuzh and this piece is very much on trend so they do this dress in like a couple of different patterns and prints so yes i'm happy So this is the last piece I want to try on for you and it is that stunning H&M puff sleeve top. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so this is just like so much 80s goodness. Like look at that sleeve. Look at this puff. Look how dramatic that is. Like this looks like more than a $15 top. I think this looks a lot more expensive than that and I love... <laughs> How kind of ridiculous this sleeve is so from here on out we're going to call this my dynasty top <laughs> I just kept it simple because the top does a lot so i just left on those gold mabel hoops and then i am carrying this gorgeous straw bag from ellie Yerpy with a little tassel at the bottom and for pants i'm wearing these like ponte pants i've had these for so many years but these are a pair of ponte pants that i got from tommy hilfiger and on my feet we have these Ralph Lauren purple label, just a pair of plain black pumps. So that's it, y'all. All right, guys. So that concludes today's video. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, listening to me talk about clothes <laughs> and 80 sneakers. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications i put out videos on fashion beauty lifestyle weekly sometimes twice and until next time stay classy and stay fabulous